Greetings YouTube, and today the victim is a battery powered clock and ceased to function. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is take the battery out and test that just to make sure that it's not the battery. I've got my trusty voltmeter here. And we have got 1.6 volts in there, so it's obviously not the battery. I didn't think it would be because it was a new battery yesterday and still no go. So what I've got is a new mechanism all the way from China. And I think we've got some nuts and bolts in here for it. But we'll use the same hands. Now uh, here we are. Got some nuts in the bottom of here. Or should be. Yeah. There are some new hands as well. Thank you for using those. Nut washer and rubber washer. So first thing, I'll just take these hands off here. Pull up on one gently. There's a little pair of pliers here, I'll just lever up. It doesn't want to come off that one. Okay. And the last one. That's it. That's all three of those. Undo the nut in the middle. the old mechanism out, if it'll come out, it's a tight fit, there it is, and the nut for it, and now I'll fit the new one, I think what I'll do, because the shaft is longer on this one, I think what I'll do is I'll put a nut on on there, like that, and the washer, like that, and put the rubber washer here, so it stands a bit further away from the back, and feed it through. And screw it through like that. It's at the right level. That'll, that should do it. I'll use the old nut. To hold it in. And hopefully these uh, hands will fit on this mechanism. Square, tighten this up. Like that. Square that up at the back. And now we shall put the hands back on. hand like that mm. now the second hand okay so now we have all three hands on uh, this was our battery, was it not? Just double check because I have several lying around. Yes, 
that was our battery. Put our battery back in. That's good. Aha. It works. Lovely. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one.